Father we thank you for your word Lord it has a cleansing effect on us it has a stimulating effect upon us it lifts us up it casts us down it clothes us and it, it strips us and then it clothes us it empties us then it fills us oh Lord this is our weapon this is the slingshot as it were that David had in his hand when he slew Goliath and we can slay our doubts and fears and put our enemies down in the right sense of the word God make us to desire this inward purity and peace and power and to live as you would live if you were living inside of our hearts that's the only way to live as though uh, with your indwelling and your peace and your joy and your love we give you our thanks in Jesus name Amen Father we thank you tonight for our meditation oh how wonderful that you should not cast us away we have all been a disappointment to you at some time or other we have all failed to grasp all of the promises again Lord we say that we do not want to run with the rest of the crowd we, if you raised up this fellowship you raised it for some reason particular peculiar reason as your word says and I pray that Lord your purpose will be fulfilled that in every dimension our lives will develop that Lord you won't have to say to us in that great day I had many things to tell you but you couldn't bear them you got so busy with lesser things keep us in our, our priorities right we pray grant Lord we shall seek your face continually we shall seek to love you and to honor you and to obey you and to satisfy your heart and we give you praise in Jesus name Lord we thank you tonight for yourself we thank you that as an old saint said how can it be thou heavenly king that thou dost us to glory bring make slaves the partners of thy throne decked with an ever fading crown we bless you Lord for where you've lifted us from out of darkness into the kingdom of your dear son and we pray again that we may explore the possibilities of grace that we will not be content with waters to the ankles but push on to waters to the knees and waters to the loins and waters to swim in that you won't have to embarrass us at the judgment seat and say I have many things to tell you but you couldn't bear them that we won't be satisfied Lord with anything but the conscious witness of your spirit that we are walking in all the light that we have that we've left darkness and we are no longer the children of darkness that we've been translated into the kingdom of light with all its beauty and all its glory Lord I pray particularly here that last days that there will be something unique about this place there will be a radiant holiness not a stilted holiness not a legalistic holiness but the beauty of holiness the meekness of what Peter says the ornament of a meek and a quiet spirit that these people will all together be pure in heart not to see God ultimately in eternity but to see God now we're told even our heart condition can affect the eyes and Lord if our hearts are pure then our vision will be pure that Lord there'll be nobody striving for mastery here in the fellowship that in honor we'll prefer one another above ourselves that again we'll have a meek and a quiet spirit we live in such an arrogant world we live in a world of such force such bitterness not much sweetness such hatred and not much love Lord may this be as Paul wrote he said we are, uh, are citizens of heaven our citizenship is in heaven or we are a colony of heaven on the way to heaven that the kingdom of heaven is within us before we get to heaven itself that the king is ruling in our lives and, and we are by the grace of God living this that you desire us to live that we're well pleasing in your sight and we give you praise because you alone are worthy in Jesus name <coughs> Amen Father we thank you tonight again for your holy word it quickens our hearts it, it, it has a marvelous effect on us it lifts us up and it casts us down it lifts us up to realize that we're heirs of God that the riches are ours in Jesus Christ oh God help us to appropriate these things and shed them abroad in this poor lost bewildered world in which we live and we give you praise in Jesus name Amen
Thank you. Father, we thank you again for the possibilities of grace and we pray that this will not be the last consideration in our lives but the first consideration that we may please you in all things. Do all those things which please the Father. I pray, Lord, about this fellowship here that the outstanding thing about it will be its meekness, its holiness, the beauty of the Lord our God being upon each one of us that when people come in here they may go to dozens of other places but may they have to say whether they come in the print shop or on the grounds or anywhere else that there's something about last day's ministry that I've not seen or felt before may they take knowledge of us that we've been with Jesus and we'll give you praise in his name Amen Thank you I thought I was so glad that this fabulous experience of being redeemed and cleansed and filled with the Spirit is not for an isolated few. It's not for those who've had a good background and always walk clean and upright, always kind of love the things that are pure. But it's for those twisted, tormented, defeated, broken lives that we can put together. No one else can put them together. Lives that the blood can cleanse and nothing else can cleanse. We bless you for the power of the gospel. And ask you, Lord, that since you've been so merciful to us, that mercy may flow from us. You've been so patient with us, may we have patience with others. You've been so forgiving, may we find it easy to forgive. You've been so loving, help us to be strangers to hatred and bitterness, and that your love may be shed abroad from our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Keep a good hand upon us. We pray for the magazine or the Read letters, it goes out, the new one that lays your blessing and anointing will be upon it, and that Jesus will be glorified in all our lives. And we give you praise in his name. Father, we thank you tonight for this break, this time of quietness and this change. We pray, Lord, that you teach us by your Spirit what we need to know. We pray that we may have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying. We never get caught in the trap of thinking we have righteousness about all. It's all of yourself. It's all of your mercy that we're not concerned. If we're cleansed, it's because of your blood. If we're victorious, it's because of your power within us, not anything of our own. And Lord, we pray that we may be so indwelt with your Spirit that we radiate the love of God you said we should be filled and I guess we can't fathom the mystery of that but I'm sure it means we'll be filled with peace and we'll be filled with joy and we'll be filled with power and we'll be filled with purity because you can satisfy that one thing that nothing material can ever satisfy the spiritual center of our being which can only be adequately satisfied by the indwelling of the spirit of God We thank you for your mercy, we thank you for your love, and we pray that we may lift your glory continually, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. We thank you that you have not cut us off, either as individuals or as a nation. We surely test your patience. You said your spirit will not always strive with man. Lord, maybe if we knew the alarm signal is already ringing out for this nation. Maybe we're almost at the end of our tether, as it were. Maybe you said, for us as a nation, the harvest is past and the summer is ended and you're not saved. But yet, Lord, we would stand in the gap tonight and plead plead as thy servants of old. We would plead like the man whose tree was to be cut down. And he pled, Lord, you'd give just another year that he might fertilize it and and, and, and get it all in good condition and then if it bear not fruit then he said then cut it down and take it away Lord some of us tonight have very unfruitful lives we have nothing to offer to our children we have nothing to offer to our church we have nothing to offer to our community and yet there are all these riches in glory by Christ Jesus which can be ours if we are obedient to thee oh God We know that the cripple at the gate is the world. We can't bind up its wounds with politics. We can't heal its diseases with any intellectual power. 
It must come through the body of the church of the living God. As we have sung this week, revive thy work, O Lord. Revive every heart here tonight. Grant, O Lord, that nobody shall leave this house in bondage. Nobody shall leave it fettered. Nobody shall leave it in failure. But, Lord, we may touch that spring which is in thee and invite the fire of God to come in consuming power and burn out the dross and burn off the fetters that hold us and liberate us that are going out like this man who is leaping and praising God. There will be something so different in our spirits, in our attitudes, in our words, <clears throat> that they'll have to say of us as they said with them. They took knowledge of them that they'd been with Jesus. And for this we'll give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. We stand here tonight for one, the only one, who could put away sin. What all the blood of beasts on Jewish altars slain could give one guilty conscience peace or wash away one stain. But Christ, the heavenly land, takes all our guilt away. Though we raise your word today that our high priest does not need to make an offering every day. Once in the end of the age, he has said to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. There was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. He only could unlock the gates of heaven and let us in. Oh, dearly, dearly, has he loved and we must love him too. And trust in his redeeming blood and try his works to do. the provision you've made through your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. We're glad we don't have to wear signs on our foreheads, on our arms, but, O oh God, we pray that that inward sign of the cross may work out because we have a meek and a lowly spirit and the beauty of the Lord our God may be upon us, that we'll stand for your righteousness in this unrighteous world. Bless again the fellowship here. We pray it will go from strength to strength. Bless each one of us now in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, tonight, 
we thank you for the possibilities of grace and we do ask that we should be ever expanding in our knowledge but not only that in our practice in our exercise of the things of holiness because the Holy Spirit indwells us Father we thank you for the provision you give us in a wicked and perverse generation to be as different from it as it's possible for human beings to be and finally we have even now we have our reward we have a reward because we're not haunted by our sins we're not haunted by the footfall of the policeman we're not afraid of some threat upon us that's all being dissolved and away our desire now is that we may walk in newness of life and, and climb the heights of spirituality and do the will of God and we thank you for the possibility and thank you for the adequate provision that you've made for us through Jesus our Lord Amen